being in Japan this last year has been, I think, one of the best experiences of my life. It's a completely different country to everything I've uh, been to, ever. You know, there's, I found that being ag aggressive with steering and things like that, there was a limit to how far you can go. And to, for me to go to the next level was to be able to drive on the edge like I, like I do, like I look for, but in a smooth way, because you know, I think the quickest drivers are the drivers who are smooth, but they're on the edge. Anyone can be smooth when they're not on the edge, but to be when you're on the edge and the rear's moving, to still be really smooth on the steering without correcting too much or things like that is very difficult. That's what Lewis Hamilton's, in my opinion, is incredible at. So over the years, that's what I push myself to, and I still not perfected it by far, uh, but I'm going in the right direction. And Japan has exaggerated that even more because with the motor park car this year in 2019, uh, it's got a very strong front end. So you have to be very, very, very smooth. さあ、来ました。最終のパナソニックコーナー、ラインクロスして宮田とも Well, the pass I knew was going to be difficult because uh, they have so much straight line speed. So, no matter what you do, they're going to overtake you back. Not because of wings, just because it's how it is over there. And. You know, I overtook him into the last corner, we were side by side down the straight, I overtook him again into the first corner, I outbraked him, and then we were side by side, going to turn three, turn two or three, and then I overtook him again, and then I finally got past him. Luckily, sector two was twisty, so I could pull away. If it was another straight, I would have got past again for sure, so, you know. Uh, but it was interesting. I never had a race like that, which went on for so many corners. It was at least three or four corners we were side by side, most of the time, cutting back, outbreaking each other. And you know, it was really good, you know, Miata, he's really good because he's three, three or four years experience in F3 in Japan. He came second in the championship last year. So he's a good peddler, he knows what he's doing, so yeah. Sugo was one of my uh, favorite tracks because it's very similar to tracks we get in Europe. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, I'd say. Uh, um, and I, I don't know, I just, Sugo, I was just good straight away. And, you know, I was just on it pretty much from, 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 from straight away. It's difficult to do a start in Japan because the tires are so grippy, so you bog down very easily, so you have to slip the clutch a lot. So, uh, you know, just, uh, I did a terrible start in the first race. So this next race, you know, obviously people think I lost confidence, but with me, when, I, when there's a bit more pressure, for some reason I seem to perform better. Always when I start on pole, I, usually I, I get a decent start for some reason. You know, maybe it's because I care about it more, I don't know. And, uh, uh, yeah, and I got an amazing start. I pulled away from the second and third, easily got a gap. And then it was, and then I just controlled the race from there. I never felt, I never been the person that feels the need to win a race by 20 seconds. I just managed the situation and uh, just kept on track and then won the race, proper race. And, uh, and yeah, it was good. Now we're going to Motegi, completely different track. A lot of straights, big braking. So Tom's most likely will be good there, I think. Uh, but I'm looking forward to that track because uh, I like tracks with big braking zones, high speed corners, high speed S's. So high grip surface as well. It's got a new tarmac. I think it's the same tarmac that you have in Formula One. So it's good.